Ah, welcome back. Uh, forgot. Volume was a little low on those, so we're going to up it a little bit. Like, double it. There we go. Alright, so welcome back to Invisible Ink. Uh, we have our game. We are in day one, 12 hours in. I've re-established contact with Monster. His network <sighs> the attack just before it hit us. And, and I switched my hotkeys. In the meantime, so we shouldn't have to worry about those glitchy through moments. <sighs> so he's our shop. She's our boss. And the other two are our agents. Continue scavenging operations, and I'll keep you posted as more intel develops. Okay. All right. Now I believe that we decided that yeah. That's where we're going. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at our agents again. We have 300. Oh, okay. I decided I didn't want that. Yeah. So we were able to get them both upgraded. Yeah, so we are all set and ready to go. Let's go ahead and head out. Um, unlike XCOM, you're not immediately right before going for things. Immediately right before going for it. I know I'm terrible with words. Um, you can't set up your team right before you go, like, loading screen pre. But... Mission objective, recon the detention center, get out alive. All right, so let's see here. We don't want to start with you. We want to start with you. That'll, there we go. So we got a little bit of power. We got 10, so we didn't get to take all of the power that we had last time. Let's go ahead and, yeah, we're going to need a level one key card for that side. Let's just peek through. Looks like that's a whole different room. Um, We can open this up. There is a nanofabricator, so we can't actually do anything with that. And I am going to come in a little bit. Just so, okay, so there is another door in there. I think we'll be okay to, ooh, another console to move forward to that point. Um, What do we got over here? Looks like there's a camera. Yep. <gasps> ooh, that is... Uh, Looks like that camera's not on, so let's go ahead and KO him. Maybe? Yeah. Level 1 security card. We'll KO him. I don't need him turning around and doing stuff. And then I'm actually going to hold on to him, and then next turn we'll move up and come back. And that'll buy us a little bit more time. So that is our first turn. Um, security card. Yeah, he can run straight across over there. That's fine. Ooh, so we've got another guard over there. So we're going to move a little slow. Get a little more power. Go back to pinning. So yeah, three moves. Not worth it. We can run over there next turn. Uh, we move up one. Looks like that's a wall there. And I don't think we need to worry about hacking this just yet. We only have the 420 credits. So what is that? Secondary terminal. That'll be nice. Unlocked. All right. And then corporate safe. So figured we could use up some of our power. We've got enough of it. We've got another two here. We have whatever's over on that side. So I'm going to peek through. That's most likely that camera. That is not that camera. There's apparently something in there. Now if I move here... A second camera. Uh, there's an object over there. Now we don't actually... To get to that door we will. So let's go ahead and just burn through this camera. We're going to hold off on this. Um, eventually, daemons will become a thing. Daemons are the security protocols that protect. Uh, but we do have another three power here. Huh. I think that this will loop around most likely. So I'm going to send her this way. Close doors. I am forgetting about closing doors. Um, we do have both of the cameras in here. Where? The scanner picked up that. Yeah, I know. Power supply. And we can hack that at any time that we now that we can see it. So 
He is set and ready to go. She is set and ready to go. She still has three inventory spaces. Let's go ahead and end our turn. So whoever's in that room is guarding this. We can get that on the way out. Let's go ahead and peek. Looks like we found our exit. There does not appear to be another room in there. Yeah. So that's it. That's our exit. Not a problem. We can close this door and head over this way. We'll go for this area over here. Uh, not using the power drip just yet. You've got nine. So that guy's got three turns left. We'll unlock this. And we can't peek through it yet, so we'll just set you up uh, one more turn before that. Yeah, he's just walking back and forth over there. Start off step one, peek. Looks like it's clear to go through. So we have a guard door and most likely whatever's over there. Let us... Okay. So we've got that. I'm going to peek one more time. Alright, so that is our room. I am going to hack that. Uh, not just yet. I'm a dirty rotten liar. So that's off next turn. He should be able to get in there and do something, possibly even get out before being noticed. She no longer has to go through there. We can come straight over here. There's another terminal. Haven't quite found our way to our new agent yet, if we are getting a new agent. Um, Pop this door open, and we're going to walk in. Okay. So we have that guard terminal. I am counting on it not producing. Wireless scanner. What do we have? We have another console. There are a lot of consoles in here. Uh, why don't you queue up your ambush and observe him? Yeah, I figured he'd just walk back. So you should be able to get over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we might have to drop that guy. We'll find out. I don't want to keep dropping everybody under the sun, but we may end up having to do a little bit. Uh, that should be our turn, though. Both agents used up. Let's just queue up weapons in case of emergency. And another door I forgot to shut. So yeah, he's over there. Let's see now. If I go here, you have four left. That's one, two, three, four. I think we do just knock him out. I think that's our best bet. We rob our safe. Good. Credits. If he does have an item on him, we may need to do a little bit more. So KO him. And he has another pass card on him. Um, We'll leave him with the pass card for now. Yeah. Question is, do I actually leave him with the pass card for now? I think we do. We leave him with the pass card for now. We run all the way over here. Let's go ahead and peek through. There's our agent. Free the agent. Uh, we will get this agent if we do this. Um, what's in here? Looks like two people. Health, health. <coughs> mm. Excuse me. So we have an agent there. This guy should be getting up over here in this room. That's going to be a little bit of a problem. Our agent is the most important thing. Oh man, I wish I, I wish I had given her that key card though. It would make things a little bit easier. Our exit. Where was our exit again? Over there. Okay, so the agent run is pretty short. We just have to get through here and see what's going on over there. So let's go ahead and end the turn. We'll keep him pinned. Uh, 
first layer, next alarm. Okay, so they haven't done anything yet. He's up now. Uh, too far. Okay. Not that big a deal. Um, I am going to pop over here. And might as well, what are we going to get? More surveillance. That guy is watching this way. You know what? Let's observe him. Which way is he going to go? He's going to go around that way. So, in theory, I wish I could... Okay, that looks like it's red. Noticed. Hidden. Noticed. Okay. Let us go ahead and hack this. I think I have to get all the way right next to it, though. That's... That's a little bit of an annoyance. She still has her stun up. That's good. Go ahead and close the door. We have 15 power. Three. This guy's going to start running around like crazy. How are we going to get him out of there? Let's see what you do. You're stationary. Cell doors open? I have to be right next to it though. If I go here, will that... We're just gonna set a trap for him. He's gonna make it all the way to there? Yeah. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Okay, so he made it to that entrance. Open this up. You can KO him. Now we can rob him. Another charge pack. And from there, we can come all the way over here. Because that guy's still stationary, most likely. And now we have a new agent. What are your abilities? You're the strength guy that can carry more. Let's go ahead and swap something here. He can carry more. That's on a three turn cooldown. Alright. And now we have our other guy. Come here, Decker. What do you see? You see lots of safes. And another door. So this is good. Two more safes. That's two more sets of credits. He really can't carry anything. Do we want to just run out of here? Like, I kind of want to keep going. The greed in me is, is building. Security level increased. This guy should be moving more over here. Let's just get you over to this door. We can look through it. More safes. Okay, so this looks to be the end. Um, so we can rob the safes. And then we can get out. It seems like it's not too bad. We got one more one more unit that we're going to rob. Um, I need to turn that back on. That'll turn this back on. That'll stop him from walking through this way. If he goes anywhere, it'll beat out through this way. Is that really what I want? Decker should be able to turn invisible. She has the ability to steal from people. See, this is why I wanted that ability. The ability to just walk up and rob a guard. All of his money. Now he's blind. Let's see if we got the whole map. Yeah, it didn't stop everything. 
There's that one square. There's our exit. Looking for rooms that we may not have hit. It, yeah, we hit the entire map except for this one square. So we are literally on the way out. Not too shabby. Um, I think I will send him over here. We'll see what this thing has. Apparently we can't bring it with us. Oh, that's the console. Where's the nano fabricator? There it is. So we should be able to get a stop over here. We'll see what we can do. Uh, action points are all used up. That guy is now awake. Okay. So that is something to make note of. Um, yeah, this should be safe right here. He shouldn't walk all the way around here. We'll see what happens. This other guy has one turn, so he'll be awake in a turn. We're going to stand here, close the door. And we're actually going to drag his body. One that way. So he's down for the count for right now. Uh, Decker. No need to worry about the other stuff, let's just get you ready for ambush. And that is our turn. Now Deckard does have his invisibility cloak. Security level increased. More surveillance cameras in one. So yeah, that guy is cautious. Let's see, how are we gonna... If I observe, so I have to actually change that again before I can do that. Going this way seems like it would be more stress. He doesn't have a weapon though. Um, laser beams are lethal. Good to know. Can't actually walk. Let's figure out... Okay, so he is going back that way. He's going to head over here. Let's take this guy. Let's see. This is... He'll have no action points at that point. But this guy shouldn't see him in theory. So let's just open that up. And that leaves her. If I put this body down, what happens? Nine. So she can get all the way over there. She, again, cannot take him out. But, yeah, this looks to be stealth. And there's a door there, if I remember correctly. So we should be able to hide from him. Uh, ambush ready. And let's go ahead and toggle that. We know which direction he's going. I think we just come out here. And use our cloaking rig for the first time. So he'll be invisible. <coughs> now everybody in theory should be fine. Um, the goal is still to get over this nano thing and go from there. Oh, crap. That's not good. So this guy is awake. He's facing this way. Oh, crap. Uh, first off, let's find out what cameras are coming on. That camera's coming on. This camera's coming on. We're taking it over. Um... Do we think he can see the whole way over there? Because we can close this. You know, why don't you... That guy is coming this way. He's going to move there. Why don't you take a look at him? He's hunting. 
I wish I could go like rotate like aerial view and take like an overview of this. So it looks like he's gonna go there. What's his view like? Okay. Again, he's got no weapon. And we can't sneak her past. But we can close that door. Alright. I would exit the level except for I'd lose these two most likely. Now if I make a noise there by like shutting the door Hey, investigating. Open the door. Can he see that far? Why yes, yes he can. She should be fine for a turn. He's got two action points. He's going back in the room. Okay. Oh, crap. We do need this camera. We may not be able to get to the synthesizer. Let's go ahead and set our ambush. Two of them. This guy should be facing somewhere else. He shouldn't notice her. She should be fine. This guy is now going to come over and check this out. And that should give us the ability to stun this guy. Possibly take this guy out. We'll see what happens. He should be going back in. And you should be safe. Okay. That is... Looking around. Investigating the area. Sweet. All right. So. That door's open. Decker can't get in that room. Let's see. How many will he have over here? He'll have four left. One, two, three, four. So Decker could... Get all the way over here. All right. Close the door. KO him. You've been stunned twice, guy. KO him. <coughs> and close the door? Can't close the door. Okay. They must have broke the door. Drag the body. <laughs> Drop the body. Close the door. Wrong door. You know what? That's fine. That's a fine door to do. Let's go ahead and move this guy. Do I actually want him out there? I don't think I do. I think that we just make a run here. Then come back and then run down. Oh crap, they're coming over. Um, How far can you make it? You can make it all the way there. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Three turns. Dragging the body, we can only get nowhere. You could drag the body. This got super complicated, by the way. Let's get you back in here. Let's get you in here. Uh, apparently you can't move that far. And then you. Five turns for that. I would love to see what's on this thing, but that guy is a problem. Uh, 
Okay. That guy's gonna come in. Yeah. What happens? <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we made it. We made it out. Nice Three people. We don't leave our people oh. Much more under our oh, that was close. So we got all the guards, we got all the saves, we got a ton of credits, and we now have Seamus. What do you got? Portable Server 2. Generates one power per turn when deployed. Deploying has a two turn cooldown. Not something I'm all that interested in just yet. You have an augment. You have... Gives plus one armor piercing to ranged weapons. Okay. That's right, you're the killer. Um, let's first off put this over here. Let's shove this over here. And this. I will give this to her instead, and we'll give this to him. And then we can sell... All right. I think <laughs> monster will explain. You guys are good at covering your tracks. You've been hitting the corpse for years, but they've never been able to follow you home. I guess they were too distracted fighting each other to bother. Or maybe you were considered a useful pawn, enemy of my enemy, and all that. What we do, we do well. Well, you must have finally done something to get their undivided attention. They're able to pinpoint your HQ by linking their surveillance nets. That's unprecedented. Not for the usual leadership political reasons, but because of the sheer computational power required. They must have an ungodly powerful network hidden out there somewhere. One All of right. Ghost incognita. Right. AKA Skynet. Put your AI on that network. It would have an incredible degree of access. We're putting an artificial intelligence on the internet. And who knows what else? John Connor knows what else. We have to find it first. Oy. They're still looking for you, but they're not hiding the fact anymore. Each time you do an infiltration, the global segment lights up like a Christmas tree. Do that enough times, and we should be able to cross-reference the traffic and find the location of the root node. And then we can strike back. Yeah. It's time for us to poke the bear. Don't you guys know the rules? Don't poke the bear. So the premise of this game is apparently to poke the bear. Um, Not all nanofabs are created equal. No, I have a counterfeit goods. We need enough credits to make this useful. We do have a uh, enough credits right now. There's a highly placed executive burning the midnight oil at this office. That's actually useful. Executive terminals have elevated security credentials. That's pretty good as well. Let's see. This is five hours away. That's 12 hours away. That's 11 hours. That's nine hours. That's 12. That's 12. And that's 12. I kind of vault. We don't have the key. Uh, and the security opt. You could tell by the little shield here. It also shows up uh, just to the... I'm trying to point now. So let's take a look at what we're going to do. Um... This would be extremely helpful. So would this. This gives us a weapon or an item. That could be useful. That could be really useful. So I think... Uh, what do we really want to do? FTM, FTM, Plastique. Last tech. Oh wait, the stop clicking on things. Um, I think our choices are between this and this because we can't take care, full advantage of these vaults. So there's no point that. Uh, in the what does this give us? Oh, that's the one that lets us buy new stuff. Yeah, I think let's go for the key card. 
Let's go ahead and get our people a little bit... What are you trying to sell us now? It's still the portable server. Uh, we'll give him a little bit more movement. Now, because she's got that invisible thing, I'm going to give her a bit more movement. I could give her a lot more movement. But I think her strength might actually be a bigger thing. She can hack wirelessly. She can move a little bit farther. You know what? Since she's going to be stealing, it might make sense. I mean, 500 credit. We're not getting that much from the guards. Yeah, this will work. Right? What can I do with you? Nothing? So, let's go get a vault card. I'm a liar. Let's go get more places. So that's what we're going to do next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you like the video, like the video. If you don't like the video, don't like the video. If you want to know when the next one's coming out and don't want to have to do all the work, let YouTube do it for you and hit the subscribe button. But until next time, this is Damian Blackear saying, have a good day.